Good morning, everyone. I got just got here by myself. My name is Dale Dufay. Mary took the day off because her sinuses were really acting up. Uh, I think it's a lot of it's from the, all the penicillin she had to take. She probably shouldn't have worked yesterday, but she did anyway. I got the two kittens trying to climb up my leg while I'm doing this video. Ah, they're just really playful. They they love it when I show up, you know, gives them some something to climb on. All right, they just released. I want to... Uh, show you what we did yesterday. We got all the electric boxes in. Uh, these are the outlets that are going to be above the counter here in the kitchen. Uh, got all the light fixtures in. See, so we got the one in the hallway here. And then we got the fixtures in for the smoke alarm. Uh, all the switches and, uh, you know, uh, outlets and whatnot. We got, you know, outlet, of course, in the bathroom. There, there. And then, uh, we still got to put uh, a vent and another fixture in there. I got to get some more round ones like this. Need to get like six more of these. Uh, a lot of t a lot of people use the square ones for the lights, fixtures, and the ceiling, but I like using the round ones because most of the fixtures uh, are meant for these round ones. I, I use this is a smoke alarm in the master bedroom, and we got the light here in the middle you know of the ceiling and then the outlets throughout i think there's like seven outlets in here we've got a light fixture for each closet because there's going to be a switch right here uh, for each for the closet and then the light in the ceiling and here's the hallway switch here uh and then an outlet of course this is the second bedroom and then there's a light fixture in the ce ceiling of the closet in the second bedroom for and the switch here today i'm going to start running all the wires and uh you know the romex and whatnot and there's adequate outlets they're all within you know six feet from each other along along you know 12 inches up off the floor and uh so everything's gonna be you know you know up to code so and then we got this new heater here uh, for the top of the propane tank these seem to work really well uh, we, st we got it yesterday when we got all the electrical equipment at menards uh, we happened to get a really good rebate check. We just heading to Menards and we checked the mail and boom, there was a rebate uh, check in there for over $300. So we were able to use that to get a lot of this because it was like 600 some dollars for all the electrical material. But that's something the landlord's paying for. Uh, so we don't have to worry about that, of course, but we are doing the labor for free. It's already, you know, reaching 46 degrees in here. It was like 42 when I first showed up, but this thing will heat it up pretty quick. I'm anxious to see how how economical it is as far as the, the propane consumption. So we got all the boxes in except for this front area here where all the insulation is. I'm going to wait till we get all the rest of it all wired and then then because the insulation kind of has to be removed to do that. But we did get the outlets all the way up to the plastic here we got this one here but see how we have to cut the insulation neatly around every you know the outlets very neatly and then you got to make sure there's insulation behind it uh, which i did so it's it's uh that's got to be done uh in that area but we got all of them up to this one here's a uh, this is going to be a, a switch or no actually it, i believe this is uh either going to be a switch. I think it's an outlet for the TV and everything. Uh, it could be, let me see, I'll, I'll take a look, it might be a switch. Uh, but here, yeah, it is a switch right there, this one. Uh, but we got them all marked out on the plan. And uh, like I said, all of them are in except this area here. Uh, and I got to get, like set six more uh, round ones because we got the outdoor outlets and the lights for the outside and whatnot. Uh, this is the uh, east side and this is the west side where we mostly come in we want an outlet on the outside and then we got the fixture and then we got one over here too so we got to do all that but today i'm going to uh, run the wire we're going to use a uh, 14 2 ga uh, gauge and it's all down here now this is uh the 14 hey, i got this is a uh, 250 feet 14 2 and then we got 100 feet of, uh, Twelve two. Uh, so this, the twelve two is for all the twenty amp, and this is for all the fifteen amp. Uh, electrical is kind of new to me. I'm really familiar with it, but I never really worked with it that much. This is like the the biggest job I've ever done with electrical. 
And uh, so it's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna, you know, just use the logic is all you can do. And I noticed that's, you know, and I always observed other electricians working on a job and ask them questions and things like that. So I'm very familiar with it. I just never uh, really done a job this big. So it's gonna be uh, kind of interesting. So we'll keep you in touch. And, um, you know, of course it has to pass inspection. And if there's anything wrong when they inspect it, I'll have to make it right. Uh, so, so that'll be nice, all the electrical and uh, plumbing will all be roughed in and we can get it all inspected and then we can actually start insulating and drywalling, that'd be great. So that's coming up real soon. Here we got a nice light directly in, in the center of the window above the sink, so that'll be perfect, you know. So we're looking forward to that um, day when we start drywalling and probably move in at that time. So anyway, my name... Again, is uh, Dale Dufay, and uh, life is good. And uh, thank you for watching, and we'll talk at you later. Love you.